got it, dude. Hey guys, what's up? Sean Enox here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are having a good day. Hope you all are staying safe wherever you guys are. Shouts out to all the new subscribers. What's up? So I shot this footage about two weeks ago. I've only been able to sit down and edit it and take a look through like now. So we're going to watch this footage today of Khan and I. He's a subscriber. He wanted to come skate and try to learn a few things. So I was more than happy to kind of guide him in a way. But anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering on. Let's check out the footage, guys. What's up guys? We're out here at Iron Park today, obviously. The uh, skate park lockdown in Australia has been lifted, so we're able to go out and skate. I'm here with a subscriber today. His name's Khan. What's going on guys? He reached out to me on Instagram and wanted to uh, have a session and I offered to help him out with a few things, teach him how to drop in and kick turn and stuff, get the basics down. So that's what we're going to do today. So shouts out to you, Khan. Basically guys, talk to Khan a little bit about foot positioning and weight distribution just to kind of fine tune any kinks here and there while skating around. Foot positioning does make a big difference when you're learning to skate because if you do start learning bad habits from the jump, it's going to be harder to eradicate those bad habits. Show us before how you were, you had your foot when you were just cruising around. I kind of just had it flat and yeah. like on the edge. So what happens guys, if you're kind of flat footed on the back of your tail when you're cruising around, it limits your the use of your your ankle pretty much it locks it off yeah but it feels pretty tight like just like i can't bend anything on yeah that. but when you're on the ball of your foot it kind of gives you a lot more freedom to kind of move yeah. about and wiggle your toes and your ankles and stuff so he's only been skating two months so he can already ollie i couldn't ollie after skating for two months <laughs> i didn't ollie till i was about 10 actually all right, so at this point in the video, guys, I went through a bit of foot positioning with Khan, a bit of weight distribution on your board. I decided to get him to do some rolling around on the banks just to kind of get the feel for rolling in and out of transition. Let's check it out. If you're feeling like confident enough, you can even add in a pump and then kick turn around. Oh, really? Yeah, that'll kind of get you further up the bank. It's a kind of a lot to do in one hit, but Yay. once you figure it out, it'll be second nature, to be honest. <laughs> you got it. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm in your way. <laughs> As you go on, you'll find that you'll be able to just turn in one axis. You won't be like kind of. Yeah. But you know, we all start somewhere. Just make sure to use your shoulders because as I'm watching you, your your, your top, your body's kind of staying stiff. There you oh, go. Yeah. And it's good to have someone to like spot me. Yeah. See that. There you go. Because if you're using the full rotation of your arms and your yeah. shoulders. The rest of your body will follow. There you go. Oh, dude. Whatever you learn this session, the next session, it'll all still be there. So, yeah. yeah. That's, that's crazy. Like, Good work. We're putting in work today. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try. Try. So after I got kind of warm up a little bit on the banks, we decided to head down to the bowl just because the transition in the bowl is a lot smoother. It's not so rigid like a bank. So I figured if he's going to learn to pump, it'll be in a bowl where it's like nice and smooth as opposed to like rigid banks. So yeah. See how it's a little bit smoother than yeah. the bank? It feels less like... Less, yeah, less rigid. Is this your first time in a bowl? Yes. Yeah, first sick. time ever. <laughs> <laughs> you want to use your momentum and your to push. That's how you keep going in between the two transitions like that. Pretty much you're compressing when you hit the transition and then you're standing and then compressing in again. Yeah, there you go. Look where you want to go too, because I can see you're looking at the... Ground. Yeah, so we, whenever you kind of look, turn your head and shoulders, your body's going to follow on your skateboard. Whenever you're kind of teaching someone to ride transition, I know for a fact this helped me when I was learning how to ride transition. I kind of had this skate coach to kind of hold my arms and guide me through. I was able to do this with Khan, so then that way he was able to kind of get a feel for the transition 
as well as having me there so if he fell I'll be able to like save him from like falling on his face or something but yeah I think it helped out a lot because he was able to get the feel for the transition a bit more and kind of understand timing a little bit also. A good way to run pump, so yep. Down again. Up again. Down again. Can you feel it a bit more? I can, I can. So after we had a little bit of a roll around in the bowl guys, we decided to head over to the uh, little quarter. I think it's about one and a half foot quarter. I demonstrated a few drop-ins for him and then I was there to kind of help him drop in as well by holding his arms. And then he had a few goes of dropping into the one foot by himself, which he did really, really well on. So let's check it out. You'll kind of step on your board and you'll naturally figure out how to have your feet. But once you drop in, your back foot might turn a little bit. Yeah. What you want to do is, you want to press down into the transition. So like before when you're pumping in and out, you want to kind of press down and keep your weight forward and look where you want to go. So basically, you just want to kind of keep your shoulder parallel with the board and then just kind of transfer, I wouldn't say stomp, but transfer your weight from your this side of your body yeah. just into the front like this. See if I can do it regular. Yeah, I feel regular. That one was a bit too <laughs> There you go. You got it, dude. There you go. That was a good one. I reckon you got that. So as you can see guys, Khan was pretty steady dropping into the one and a half foot quarter. I talked him into trying it out on the three foot. I think it's a three foot quarter. Just because the length of the quarter is a lot longer so you have more time to kind of take that transition. Whereas a one foot is, you kind of drop in and then you're already at the bottom. So there's not much time to really understand the logistics of how your board's kind of dropping into the transition. You kind of drop in and then you're at the flat. So we headed over to the three foot quarter pipe. Let's check out the footage. Transferring your weight it needs to be quicker. That's all it is. I don't know how to get it down so quick. Push your weight into it. Oh, dude, I'm so good. Yeah. As you guys can see, he did manage to get a few drop-ins on the three foot with me guiding Khan. He did want to try it alone, but he was kind of feeling a bit scared and he was feeling a bit tired too. So we decided to call it quits there. As you can see, it took a bit of a tumble and I didn't want to push him any further because today had already been a big day of like learning and taking things in. So I didn't want to cram too much information in him, but all in all, it was a sick day. Khan's a really nice dude. I think we're actually going to catch up again to film the second part of this video to kind of continue where we left off. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Thanks for coming up, man, and yeah. hanging out and everything. Nice and to meet you, dude. Oh, nice to meet you, bro. Cheers for being a subscriber. I feel like proud or like <laughs> I feel rewarded for helping you out today, skating dude, and stuff. Honestly, like I never thought I would even drop in on like, yeah. a small ramp. Like, yeah, it's it's like it's I don't know. Surreal. Just me being able to teach you and seeing you hyped on learning has like sparked me wanting to learn more yeah. stuff. So it's like it's been a good day. Like seeing progression. From yeah, where, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, man. Awesome. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you. So that brings us to the end of the footage from that day, guys. I had a blast kind of coaching Khan. Like, I never thought I'd be able to kind of be a coach, you know? Well, it's not really coaching. It's kind of me offering advice on skating. So 
Um, yeah, that was sick. Definitely keen to do it again. We did work through a lot of things. Like I said, it's always helpful to have someone there with you while you're skating to kind of look at how you're kind of skating or doing the trick or whatever and kind of break it down for you to understand and show you how to go through the motions and stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and check out the rest of my videos. Khan had only been skating for a couple of months at this point. And just seeing him get hyped over learning new things, it's really rewarding, it's really cool. Awesome feeling. I remember when I first learned to drop in, it was at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. They had like an X Games set up and there was Street and then Vert. I went into the Vert for some reason. I was in a group of like 12 other kids. We're all skating around and doing kick turns and stuff. But if it wasn't for the instructor, I can't remember his name. He was like a 90s Australian pro skater, Michael something. He had brown curly hair. After the uh, clinic had finished, he actually said like, if you want to stay back and I can help you out and teach you how to drop in. But I still hadn't figured it out at that point. So if it wasn't for him spending another 10, 15 minutes with me on that day, teaching me how to drop in, I probably wouldn't have learned to drop in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Enochism. But until next time guys, cheers for watching the video. I'll catch all of you all in the next one.